Again, this is Alicia Stobie of Van Dyke Mortgage. Uh, not only the best mortgage lender out there, but also a good personal friend. How are you, Alicia? I'm great today. How about you, Dane? I'm doing great, and uh, thanks for being on today. Uh, today we're going to talk about some um, uh, some product discussion, as well as uh, changes um, that the federal government has instituted in and around VA loans and USDA loans. And the first thing we're going to talk about are uh, VA loans, and uh, this is actually a big change to the program. Can you describe uh, what the change was and how it's affecting the market? Sure, excellent question. Uh, recently we got an update from Veterans Affairs, which uh, runs VA home loans for the country, and they said that effective immediately, they will not allow the veteran buyer to pay for deed stamps. Now, in the state of Florida, that's a pretty hefty tax, and those, those fees, what they are, are calculated as, uh, as a percentage, of uh, the sales price and it varies by uh, state typically what those fees are but in the state of Florida that is 0 0.007 so almost one full percent of the state of the sales price so that if you write a, a standard contract in the state of Florida in our neck of the woods it's uh, Northeast Florida Association of Realtors it's a NEFAR contract that's going to default that that fee be paid for by the seller so it's okay to change however what we see a lot of times now, not every case, but a lot of cases where if the house is uh, bank owned, so if the bank's already foreclosed on it, or if it's government owned, so it's a Fannie property, Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac owns the property, a lot of times they may not pay for the deed stamps. Well, if they're not paying for the deed stamps and the veteran buyer's not allowed to pay for the deed stamps, we have a dilemma. So right now we're actually, uh, the buzz we're hearing is that uh, those government agencies are really not interested in contracts from veterans, which is a shame because these people have, these men and women have served us and our country and now they're being penalized basically because of the benefits that they receive with the veterans home loan. So it's really a shame. So um, you just want to make sure you're, you, you know all the information and uh, stay current with uh, your lender and your realtor. They should be very aware of this information. So to understand you correctly, th this change is basically making it less, of the, if I'm a veteran buyer, I'm a less desirable buyer because of this change. Unfortunately so. Right. Yeah, already there's a lot of fees that the veteran's not allowed to pay for. For example, um, a pest inspection, uh, also called a WDO, wood destroying organism uh, inspection, is required by the, by the VA but not allowed to be paid for by the vet. Um, the vet's not allowed to pay for, uh, for example, uh, lender junk fees. Um, and they're also not allowed to pay for other things such as uh, a closing fee from the title company. Um, so there are already some fees that they can't pay for, but this is, in the state of Florida, it's almost 1%, so it's a huge fee. Um, that just has either doesn't the deal won't happen or it's been shifted to the seller so um, and in a standard contract it's fine again for in the state of Florida but again for those government owned properties they're negotiating and, and a lot of times not paying for those so okay well that's very good and uh, thank you for this update on uh, this change to the VA program and we'll get to the next uh, film